Okay, frizzle fry. So we're gonna start out with some uh, artificial harmonics. So with your left hand, be fretting uh, G7. And with your right hand, be uh, tapping uh, up an octave here at uh, G19. So you could do it this way with like one uh, finger kind of tapping there. Um, hitting the D string open. Or you could do it with like uh, two fingers. I've seen him do that before. You know, one finger for each string. Then move it up here to eight. So, you know, 20 where you're, where you're tapping. So on uh, the record, on a frizzle fry, it's uh, it's like back and forth between seven and eight, like fairly quickly. So it's kind of like. Kind of like that. Um, live, I've seen him go up to 10 with that before. Kind of up and then down, so like. <laughs> so we're gonna pop a D6, pull off to five, and then pop open D. Then slap on E and slide up. Uh, place doesn't really matter as long as we're going into this chord here. So that chord is uh, A5, DG7. That's going to come up uh, quite a bit in this song. So, yeah, I see that like, you know, most of the time that strum the chord. But I think in pretty early versions like KZSU 1989. It is this chord here. Wow, that was buzzy. Uh, open D, G7. Okay, and then after that chord, we're gonna do a little bit more uh, harmonics tapping here. boys and girls and then after uh, never fear you're safe with me that chord again uh, again in earlier versions it's this man that's really buzzy well maybe okay and now we're into the main riff Again, uh, slow down. Whoops. So going into this main riff for the first time, we have uh, four slapped slides on the E string. And then pop uh, D6, pull off to five, um, just like from before, and then open D. Uh, another slap slide on the E string, open D pop. Then we're gonna strum this chord here at uh, a6, DG8, another uh, slide up and another open D pop, so. And that, uh, all of that is basically just going to repeat but with the chord being at different places. So first time it's here and the second time it's uh, here uh, down a fret. Third time, up here again. And the last time it's gonna be. So at uh, three, five. And then up a whole step. Whoops.
Okay, and then I went to some more lyrics. Uh, golden hair of macrame. So speaking of the lyrics, does anyone out there know what this song's actually about? Uh, I, I have no idea what this song's about. Um, I've seen people say before, like, oh, oh this song's about tripping, it's about LSD, but yeah, I don't know, I'm not so sure. Uh, I was listening to a concert one time, it's just a while back, so it could have been any concert, but Les was about to share the meaning of this song. He, he was uh, starting to talk what the song was about, but then someone, uh, you know, threw something at him, which hap happens all the time for some reason. Um, and then he got pissed off and went to the next song, so... So when he goes, I, we're going to play this, uh, it's A3, and then G5, kind of, uh, pop that. Thank God the boy's not alone. So again, we're going to do four, uh, slides into our main riff here. into uh, the first chorus of the song, you know, like, uh, I don't believe in this, and I don't believe in that. And then next, when he uh, goes, Andy's painting green again. So that's just, you're hitting all the strings open here. This time they might take him away! Which brings us to this part here. Again, slower. Okay, so we're gonna uh, be strumming that chord again, which I'm just gonna refer to as D, because I'm mean, Again, this comes up a lot in the song, so when I say the D chord, that's what I mean. This A5, uh, D, G7. And then uh, switching to finger style, E4, 5, and then A3. Now we're going to strum this power chord here at uh, uh, D3, G5. And then do that again but moving the power chord up, up a fret, up another, and then lastly, up here at uh, 6 and 8, uh, slide up a fret, and then that chord again, the D chord. So basically that same exact thing is going to come up uh, much later in the song, like towards the ending, but it's much faster. And in my opinion, that is the, the hardest part of this song to play. But, uh, you know, we'll get to that. And then when he yells, uh, it may just take us all away, we're going to start doing this. So starting with that uh, D6-5, uh, that again. And then we're going to do... So it's like two open D pops for every slide. And then we're going to kind of uh, speed that up into our main riff again, so it's kind of like... And then after the uh, second and final chorus of the song, we go into this part here. So during this part with the right hand, um, what I usually see him doing is uh, hitting the notes on the E and A strings, the lower two strings, with the thumb, and the uh, high two strings, D and G, with uh, it's either the two fingers, you know, middle and index, or it's just the index, I'm not really sure, you know, not that it really matters, but anyway, so with the left hand with your index finger, brief, uh, yeah, be fretting, one on D and G. 
So we're going to start with G1, D1, D1, hammer on to 2, D1 again, and then A3, D1, A2, D1. So we're going to do that uh, four times, but on the third time, instead of starting with uh, G1, we're going to start with E4, so it's the same note an octave down. <laughs> Into the uh, main riff again. back into that. So after four times that, we're going to take that uh, same exact pattern up uh, three frets, so up to four here. So next we have it's just these two chords here back and forth. So the uh, first one is D6, G8, and then the, the uh, D chord again. Some with, uh, yeah, some distortion with that. And I think he kind of you know, uses the whammy bar with that as well, kind of, I mean, on the Frizzle Fry version of Frizzle Fry, um, you know, that part there, the distortion whammy bar, kind of reminds me of John the Fisherman a little bit, like the intro of that song. Okay, and now for the, uh, you know, more intense part with the guitar solo. So, for most of this, we're just going to be hanging around A5. So, yeah, some uh, fast kind of notes here. Um, so what exactly is going on? Well, on uh, the Frizzle Fry on the uh, album version, I'm not entirely sh sure what's going on with those notes, but um, so I'm basing this part uh, kind of off of hallucinogenetics in which the bass is kind of, you know, more prominent in the mix and I can uh, kind of hear what's going on. So in that it's like one note and then five kind of quickly, and then five again, and then uh, one note after that, so the kind of uh, unit or block here I guess would be, and then that repeated uh, with some A3s in there. we have uh, this fill here, these triplets at 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, so with context, whoops, so in many uh, live performances of this, around this time he goes up to uh, G7 a lot, an octave higher, and then kind of plays around with the notes in between there, I think I think the scale here is D mixolinian, so I think it's like uh, uh, 4, 5, 7 on D and G. So just to kind of improvise uh, messing around here. kind of stuff. Okay, and then we're going to do this thing where we play a triplet on D3, and then do a 3, 4, 5 on A, and that's going to go kind of like this. And then next we're going to kind of go down into the E, 3, 4, 5 zone, 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on on the record, but my best guess is a triplet on three and four, and then a five, two, and a three. So next we're going to uh, strum this chord here at A3 DG5 and slide up a fret into the D chord and then keep that uh, fast A5 uh, fingering going. And then we're going to take an up an octave up here to A17. So up next. So that is the same exact thing from earlier, the... It's that, but, uh, you know, a lot quicker, and again, in my opinion, that's the, this is the uh, uh, toughest part of this song. So, you're going to do that twice, and on the third time, it's like uh, double strummed instead of single. So on the third time, it's like... Let that chord ring out, and then slide down into another... So that's an octave pluck here at uh, E4, D6. And there you go, first of all, fry.